All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, double honors the apostles, and elders of great mills do not rule well, and salutations to the Akim around the world that push the truth in sincerity. You know? So now, so I want to talk about prophecy a little bit. You see the elders. Ella said that you know, the so called 2018 is the year of prophecy, and prophecy is what really we are here for. You understand? As the men of the Most High who are called prophets, the point of a prophet is to do what? To prophesy. You understand? That is really our job to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom, to prophesy the, the coming of the kingdom to come, and to teach the people in this world the wickedness. So the second is just 15 verse 1 right it say um, behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth saith the Lord because really and truly that is the purpose of a prophet that is what he has raised up prophets for to prophesy about things to come before the destruction that is what he do that he, what he used to do since the beginning of time if it wasn't for that it was to to warn the people of Israel here it is going on I'll change all your ways you understand or you will send prophets to actually teach them the correct thing and what will be the penalty if they don't hearken on to those those correct things prophecy is one of the main points of being a prophet at the most high if you're not speaking prophecy or teaching these things then you're not classes a prophet you're not doing your job to the Ecclesiasticus to the 9 verse 1 right it say but he had but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Mosai right and is occupied in the meditation thereof because there's something is supposed to be occupied in very often or you say then Joel 1 verse 8 is say um you meditated day and night you're supposed to be constantly meditating and things are written in this book and different things that you're supposed to do and how to go about doing the most I will right they say we'll seek out the wisdom of all the ancients which is how to talk about about inquiring the former times the right way and walking therein we're supposed to be learning these things or how we're supposed to be and actually trying to fulfill these things and teaching others to do so right and be occupied in prophecies because to teach prophecies, you had to learn prophecies. So you're supposed to be learning these prophecies so you could go and prophesy and teach others. You understand? That is your that is one of the roles you have of being one of the men of the most high. You're supposed to be constantly occupied in prophecy. So the more you learn, the more you'll be able to teach somebody else. You'll be able to sow that seed in somebody else. That they could one day be a good seed, good bear fruit and go and sow seed somewhere else also. You understand? So that is First Corinthians. First Corinthians fourteen. First five, right? You say, I would that ye all speak with tongues, but rather that ye prophesied, right? Because prophecy is something that has to happen before the downfall of this kingdom. Because it's written that prophesy, prophets will prophesy about these things before the downfall. Is a process the Mosiders always take. You send prophets to prophesy, and then the destruction will come. Right? It says, For greater is he that prophesieth than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret that the church may receive edifying. You understand? So, it's, it's not, this, this truth is not about being fancy or being able to do fancy things. You might see brothers that have all kind of different fancy abilities, but as long as you can be able to do the job of prophesying, that is the most important thing. You understand? Unless, unless you're, you're translating for somebody else that prophesying, <laughs> and the peop, because the people can't understand what the prophet's saying. Once you could prophesy or assist with prophet prophesying, that is really the important thing. You understand it's not about looking cool 
or trying to have also that special different gifts to make us to, to, to seek being glory in any way you understand prophesying is one of the major things it's one of the major things when it comes to being a prophet because that way you get the word that is where you get the word prophesy from prophet <laughs> So the Revelations 19, verse 10, right? It said, I fell at his feet to worship him, right? This is the angel that was given John the Revelation. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. It said, worship, worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. The Cody scriptures say that he comes in the volume of the book. The book is written of him. You understand? So he is the scriptures. You understand? He is the spirit of prophecy. You understand? He is what we speak it unto these people. But they can't understand it because he doesn't dwell. A lot of them can't understand it because he don't dwell with them to give them the understanding. But we still we still supposed to go out and speak these words. These words have to go forth. So that so that the scriptures can be fulfilled, that the word went forth through the four corners of the earth. And then the destruction could come. You understand? Because all prophecy and scriptures must be fulfilled. And part of that prophecy is the men going out and prophesying. Which is why prophecy is so important. You understand? And seeing as the elders say they see a prophecy. This could be a year that you had to be focused more in prophecies about certain things that had to come and you had to be focused more on pushing prophecies because we near in that time that that destruction come in. Every month, every day, every year is closer and closer to when that time will come. So you had to be more and more occupied and more diligent in prophecies. You understand? Anyway, with that, I like to give all praises. Honor and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, double honors the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well, and salutations to the Akim around the world that push the truth in sincerity. Shalom.